and here we are. So I'm going to start right out by creating some services. I'm going to create the register service, the login service, the check-in service, the latest check-in check -in service, and I'm going to create these two services also. And uh, then I think I'll switch over. I think I'll end this video and we'll start with a new one. So let's go here. Um, let me go back to appcreep.io. <clears throat> um, let's uh, begin by creating a new service. And I'm going to name this register service. And it's a REST interface, create service. And the URL, I'm going to use, I'm going to go back to my program here, click check in services PHP, and then I'm going to copy this, and this will be my URL for this and actually all my services. So next I'm going to set up the request, and we have a register. And we have a we have a reg name and a reg password. So reg name add and reg password add. The other thing is the register should equal one, preset to one. Okay, next I'm gonna test it and I'm gonna Try to register somebody. And I'm going to click test. And this is returned. Registration ID and so on. Status code of what? So I'm going to import this as a response. And we see the green success message up here. Okay, uh, I can actually close this now. I'm going to create the next one service. And this is going to be the login service. It is a REST, in REST service. I'm going to use the same URL. For the request parameters, there's going to be a login, add, and a login name and login password. Login name and login password. And the login needs to be preset to 1. And now I can uh, test this. And I'm going to try what I just registered. And when I test this, I see uh, successful. So I'm going to click import as a response and I get the green success message up here. And I think we can close this. Uh, next I'm going to create a new service and it's going to be a service and I'm going to name this uh, check-in service and it's a REST service and the URL is the same. And for the request parameters, we need to have uh, insert, which is one. Uh, so the first param, second parameter is going to be. Um, let's check this again. Check in register ID and latitude. Okay. So check in register ID. And then latitude, and then longitude, and then um, house number, and then street, and then a zip. Okay, and uh, so we can test this. And oh, I need to set insert to one. And now we can click test. And uh, uh, let's see, the check-in register ID for me is 1. 
And I, I'm just going to put in any, any old latitude here. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put the 21, 2020, minus 157, 2020. And for a house number, I'm going to put 1180, Oku, Ano Street, 96825. And click test. And when I come down here, we see that uh, it was at uh, it was I get, I get back a status of the check-in time and a message saying that uh, checked in. So that's successful. So click import as response, and we get the green success message. Okay, we can close this. And let's see. Uh, for the last service, click New Service, and this one is going to be called Latest Check-ins Service. Create service, and we can use the same URL. Do I still have it in my? No, I do not. Let me get it again. Okay, and the request parameters are uh, select, add, and the preset value is an asterisk, and that's all, that's all there is. Click test, and there's nothing more we need to do. Click test here, and we see this is the response that came back for uh, the latest check-in. There's only one person there, so let's just replace this. <coughs> so there's only one record. So, uh, this thing works. Oh, I need to click import as response. Success. And now I can close this. And so we've got four services there. We need two more. We need a geolocation service and, uh, the, uh, get address service that we're going to use from GeoNames that will convert the, uh, geolocation to the street address. So let's start with the geolocation. It's a service. And this time it's a device service geolocation, and that's a good name for it, geolocation service. Uh, click create service, and that's all we have to do. Close it. And one more, uh, we're going to create a service, and this one is going to be uh, get nearest address, and uh, it's a rest service. And uh, the um, URL is, it's this one here, it's right here. Uh, so it is, uh, it doesn't, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's just copy the URL pro portion of it and go back to, and paste that right in here. And that's, that'll work. And for the request, we need uh, to enter let's see, uh, formatted equals true. Uh, we need to input a lat, an LNG, a username, and we're going to use our username, and then the style equals full. So that would be formatted equals true, enter, true, and username, and uh, the next one is uh, lat, lng, and style equals, oops, equals full. And for my username, I'm going to put that in here. And then I can go to test. And uh, let me 
enter in a latitude, which can be uh, actually the one that they gave in the example here, which was this and this. And I'm going to test it. Let's see. Test. And uh, we get back what we're looking for. There's a postal code, a street, and a um, street number. So we can click import as response. And we get the green success message. And I believe we are done creating our services. We've got services that we have.